All right, let's talk weather because thunder and lightning may have woken you up this morning. Yeah, and you may be in the dark this morning. We just got an update from Duquesne Light, who is reporting 3,600 plus customers are without power right now. And we know, of course, there are other issues too out there. Absolutely. Ron, how's it looking right now? Uh, yeah, you know, the good news is the uh, severe weather threat, at least for this morning, uh, looks like it's passed. Uh, we will still have that chance for some strong storms, mainly in the afternoon hours is what it looks like uh, at this point. Do want to say as we we're going into the uh, overnight hours did have that severe weather that slid through. 59 mile an hour wind at the Allegheny Airport County Airport, and we also had a number of reports of heavy rain causing some brief flooding out there. So certainly uh, we did see some strong storms in the overnight hours. Rain showers all we're seeing really at this point. You see the Reimersburg area here. Here's the uh, Lawrence County community of Newcastle. This is all lifting off to the north northeast, and we'll continue to follow uh, kind of monitor things there. But these are all rain showers. Any of the thunderstorms are on the leading edge, and that's moving out outside of our region right around the Puxatawney area and heading over towards State College. Setup is similar to what we saw yesterday. That puts us in that warm sector. Marginal risk of severe weather today, including a slight risk of severe weather just off to the northeast. So the center of the state to eastern parts of Pennsylvania seeing that slight risk today. Biggest concern for us is going to be with wind speed uh, over 58 miles an hour. That would make it severe. Already seen one case of that this morning. Flooding also will be a big possible uh, big possibility and concern over the course of the day today. So uh, overall today, similar to yesterday, model data is not going to show a lot when it comes to any rain and storms developing, but any of these cells, individual cells that do develop strong wind speeds will be possible. A lot of lightning in those and then downpours leading to what could potentially be some flash flooding. Better chance for rain tomorrow, but our storm chance looks like it's going to be a little bit lower than today. So we'll watch closely there, but at least right now we're not painted under that marginal risk of severe weather heading into your day on Wednesday. We'll continue to monitor things there, but at least right now uh, we're staying off of that. 69, your current temperature at this point. It is cloudy outside. Winds out of the south-southeast at 6 miles an hour. They'll be uh, basically out of the south-southwest today at around 10 miles an hour heading into the afternoon. Temperatures, here they are. Cranberry 72, Washington at 75. We're expecting a high temperature today of about 84 degrees, so no big warm up, no huge warm up, only about 10 to 15 degrees warmer than we are now for those highs. 84, the expected high in Pittsburgh today. Here's how I think your day breaks down. I'll put the one o'clock temperature there and 81 degrees cloudy at that point after three o'clock will be the best chance for seeing some strong storms today and that lasts through about eight or nine o'clock. Here's a look at your seven day 84 your high temperature today 82 on Wednesday hotter Thursday and Friday and rain chances back both Saturday and on Sunday.